All right, here we have a cluster gents ring. Very, very, very heavy. Set in 14 karat yellow gold with a 14 karat yellow gold mounting. Hall marking, as you guys can see, KB indicating Carlin and Bleicher. Hallmark 14 carats. We can look at the under gallery and see that this piece was casted, whereas this 14 carat white gold alloy was worked by hands. The diamonds are round brilliant they are of exceptional quality so let's go ahead and get under 10 times magnification see the carlin and bleicher hallmarking 14 carats Okay, so let's go ahead and we can see that we're in the VS minimum clarity range. You can see through the pavilion. We're gonna look and we see no double refraction is evident. Peering through the bezel facets, we can see these stones are single refracted. Let's go ahead and zoom up on this. See if you guys can really see the detail. So the first thing that, you know, when we make a, uh, a gem identification, we're peering through the bezel facets at an angle okay and if we de detect rail tracks then we know that we are dealing with a double refractive gem okay so you can see these stones are of exceptional quality now take a look at these star facets right here they're precision okay no rounding is evident on any of these stones. The table facets are well within the exceptional quality 60% sweet spot. And these stones are what diamonds should be. Exceptional quality. The color of these stones, I would say, are in the F to G range. So lower uh, colorless, upper near colorless range. These face up white. So let's go ahead and let's you guys can see that unlike silicon carbide under natural uh, daylight uh, silicon carbide really shoots out a lot of uh, displays of color you know silicon carbide has a lot of uh, you know flash it's got two and a half times the dispersion value of diamonds. So to a gemologist, uh, silicon carbide, it, 
right off right out of the gate visually silicon carbide stands out because it just has too high of dispersion values and then underneath magnification when we have uh, 10 times magnification we can instantly distinguish silicon carbide I'm going to try to zoom up a little bit more on this let's see See, we're having a very difficult time on finding any flaws okay so you guys are kind of seeing what i'm seeing underneath magnification and unfortunately you guys can't get the best of details but we're under 4k and we're trying our best here so I would give these uh, these stones a grade of VVS to VS. Okay. All right, let's switch it to let's switch it to uh, the Luma gauge, so we can just measure measure the stones here. Zoom up just a bit, try to focus on this. We've got 3.2 millimeters. Three point three millimeters. Three point three millimeters, three point three, three point three. Let's see what the center it is. So, right off, we got. 3.3 so each one of these stones are approximately just getting the the measurements are approximately 15 pointers so we just go and add them all up we got one two three four five six so that's 30 that's 60 that's 90 so we got um, over a carat of exceptional quality so let's go over the price in the marketplace right now um, these are trading at a premium because a lot of uh, cutting operations are no longer in operations so the price for this uh, carrot parcel right here of 3.2 to 3.4 millimeter uh, round brilliance are going to be uh, VVS, VS, FG color. They're going to be anywhere from $800 to $1,200 per carrot. So right here, we got a grand uh, worth, of, worth of diamonds. And that's not including, that's not including, um, the gold value but this is a pretty pretty nice ring that's what it looks like just 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 a, a beautiful ring and this concludes this video and hopefully 
this really shows up is I'm under uh, direct sunlight here. I'm trying my best to, to focus in on these stones the best that I can to, to give these stones justice. This is this is what you want when it comes to diamonds. Just a beautiful piece. All right, the big bad wolf is out.